Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look at some of the top stocks in the cannabis sector. So first up is Canopy Growth. Okay, so closed up 5.6%. It's been in a sideways channel. It is above 50 in our side. It's still in the bull zone. What you want to see here on Fasto is a break above 50. That would be a signal the chart is heating up. Okay, so there was a close on Friday above the dotted purple line. That's the middle Bollinger Band. That is the move that we were looking for. It closed just above that level at 49.55. It needs to stay above that level. Now the closing price on the eighth is the key level to break. If it can close above that level, the closing price on the 25th will be back on deck right up here, right below 53. So it's all about closing the price, breaking above the closing price on October 8th, and then the closing price on September 25th. Once there's a close above that September 25th uh, closing price, that would be a new all-time high close, and that should signal that it wants to break out higher, possibly test that that uh, you know high 56, near 57 all-time high. Now, it, it, it is in a sideways channel right now and it is going to need to break above resistance to head higher if it were to drop below EMAs 4 8 and 13 and start trading below, you know, in the 48s again, that, that would be a signal more consolidation, not quite ready to go. If you look at the 15-minute chart, you can see it retraced back up to the high of day from, from Friday. It dropped down, bounced right off the middle Bollinger Band in the 300 simple moving average, and retraced right back up to that resistance level. If it can break above, what you want to see is this October 8th high close zone break. It's all about 50-40 and 50-80. Uh, a close above 50-80 on the 15-minute chart would be really bullish is signaling more upside potential. Okay, let's look at Cronus Group. Cronus Group here is heating up. Um, you know, it had a big pullback and it's holding support. What you want to see on RSI is a break above 50. If you look back here, the last time it was below 50 on RSI and then it broke above, you could see the, 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 the big run that followed. And so that's what you're looking for here. If it can get back above 50, that could signal the possible uh, next big push higher. You have Fasto now above the 20 oversold line, so that's positive. Check out ADX here. You have minus DI, plus DI, and ADX all stacked up. If this green line crosses over the red line to the upside, that should be a signal the bulls are taking control. Uh, yeah, similar to uh, back here on ADX, you could see that at the same time that you had RSI break above 50, you had a crossover, the green line crossed over the red line, and you could see that triggered the start or signaled the start start of that run. Now, right now, Cronus Group is in a downtrend. Okay, you see it's it's trading below the dotted purple line, which is the middle Bollinger Band, and, and it's been riding EMAs 4, 8, and 13 resistance lower. You can see the channel here. Well, it's been holding the green line. That's the 50-day simple moving average at 967. It needs to stay above that level. If it were to close below that level and it turned into resistance, that would signal downside risk. As long as it's holding, it's signaling upside potential. Right now, it's hitting EMA 8 at 985. If it can break above that level, then you have EMA 13, the orange line on deck at 1015. Notice how EMA 13 is lined up with this red descending resistance line. If Cronus Group can trade above 1015 next week, that should be the clear signal that it wants to head higher. Look for a run up to $11 to test that middle Bollinger Band. If the middle Bollinger Band turns into support, that's when it can get running again. Okay, let's look at Cronus Group on the 15 minute chart. You can see it really heated up. It's above the red line, so it's above that 200 simple moving average. It needs to stay above that level. If it were to drop below this red line at 966 and that turn into resistance, that would be a sell signal. Right now, it needs to break above resistance. You can see it's hitting uh, the the high close from today. It, it's right. It closed right at that level. If it can break above, then what you want to see is the high close on the 10th. You want to see a break above that level, and what that would do is it would put the 300 simple moving average at 1013 on deck. As long as the middle Bollinger Band and the 200 simple moving average are holding this red line, that 1013 level is the next target. Now, the 300 simple moving average on the 15 minute chart is always tough to break. If it hits that level and fails to break, it will be the sell zone. If it can break above that level and that level turns into support, it will signal more upside potential. Once above a key moving average, it has to stay above. If it drops below, it triggers a sell signal. Okay, let's look at TLRY here in the bull zone right now on RSI. It's between 50 and 70. You can see it's been cruising in this level, uh, in this zone, while, while it's been in a sideways channel. Uh, um, you can see here it's got the uh, RSI or Fasto back above 50. Uh, uh, Tilray really likes to run above 80 uh, on Fasto. So if you see it get back above 80, similar to how it did back here, that should be a sign that the bulls are back in control. Now, if it were to drop below 50, that would be a downside risk. That would be a sell signal. It's got to stay above 50 on Fasto. Right now, okay, so it has this uh, sideways type of channel here. It, and inside the channel where you have lots of consolidation, there is this descending triangle pattern. You can see how 
all these candles are hitting this red descending resistance line. Well, on Friday, there was a close above that level. So it looks like that trend is breaking possibly to the upside. There was also a close above the middle Bollinger Band, the dotted purple line. That, that level broke on Tuesday of last week. So the close back above on Friday signals more upside potential. 141.19 is the key level to hold. If it dropped below 141.19, that would be a sell signal. It has to hold that level to push higher. And then what you're looking for is a break above this a closing price in the first trading day in October, right about 165. And then and then just above that at 175, you have the close back here on the uh, 20th. And then the all-time high close is way up here around 215 or so. Those are the three big resistance levels above. The, the key right now is just to stay above that 140 level and then make a run back up to those 160s, 170s. Okay, let's look at Tilray here on the 15-minute chart. You can see it, it, it's the most bullish of, this, of the charts I just showed you because it's above all the moving averages on this chart. It's above the, the, the green line, the gold line, the red line, the blue line. It's above the 50, 100, 200, and 300 simple moving averages. And it's riding EMA's 4, 8, and 13 support higher above the middle Bollinger Band. It doesn't get any more bullish than that. It, it did close above high close resistance. You could see the closing price here at 11 o'clock on Friday was the key level to break. That, that level broke going into the close, and you could see how it pushed higher. So that does signal more upside potential. What you want to see now is a break above this 148.50 level, and then you have this 152 is going to be a big level, and then up here right around 157. Okay, so so if you look here, you can see it had this downtrending channel, it's kind of a megaphone kind of pattern, and that breakout above the channel, above this red descending resistance line, it is a bullish change in trend. That signals more upside potential. Okay, let's look at ACBFF. This is Aurora Cannabis. So this once again, Again, had a nice close on Friday. It had the close that we were looking for. It is in the bull zone on RSI at 63.34. It at 39. It still has room to run until overbought levels. As you can see here, it's been up above 70. And on previous runs, it has hit as high as the 90s. So so it's it's still in a nice bull zone with juice. It did close at high of day, so that did max fast dough out it, at, at 100. Whenever you have no upper wick on the candle, you can see Friday's candle there. There it's flat. There's no upper wick. That that many times will will push fast dough to a maxed 100 level. It shows that the bulls were in control, in control all the way into the close. The very last trade of the day was high of day. It doesn't get more bullish than that. Okay, so there was a close on Friday above the October 8th closing price. That was the level that we wanted to see break. Now, it just closed above it fractionally. You can see it's just above it, maybe a penny or two, but it did close above. And when, when that happens, when you have a close above a high close horizontal resistance level, many times it signals more upside potential. It's going to have to stay above 1050. If it dropped below 10 50, it could still consolidate. You could see it had formed a an ascending, ascending triangle pattern. You have ascending support here on this green line, right? And so all, all the candles are hitting that level and, and, the, and they were running into horizontal resistance. You could see the horizontal resistance really, the first level was this lining up with these black candles and it closed above that level and it closed above the high close resistance level. So the close above the two key horizontal resistance levels and holding ascending support is signaling that it wants to break out higher. The promising thing is look at the upper Bollinger Band over here. It's off the chart. Right now you've got the upper Bollinger Band at 1082. So that gives you, you know, it, it's up here. That gives you a nice room to run until that upper Bollinger Band. So it looks like it wants to push higher. Um, if you look here at the Aurora Cannabis uh, um, monthly chart, if you didn't know, they are uplisting to the New York Stock Exchange. They're going to be the next one. You have uh, Canopy Growth, Cronus Group, Tilray, all big board plays, either on the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ. Uh, Aurora Cannabis is next in line. And, and so that should be beneficial, you would think. It's going to uh, expand expose the stock to a lot of people that have no idea, they've never heard of it, and that could get it running uh, once it uplists. We'll have to see how it plays out, but but uh, right now on the monthly chart, you're at 72. You can see it ran well above 90 on previous big runs. If fast O's above 80, it needs to stay above 80. Right now, it's breaking out this month. It's going for the all-time high monthly close for the stock. The, the previous all-time high close was back here in January, and that level just broke barely at last month, and that did signal more upside 
potential, even though it closed fractionally above. Now this month, it's following through with another push higher. It, it, if support holds, if it stays above EMA4 at 833, it should retrace back up to this near 1250 all-time high. That's our that's our target. If it can close above 1250, that would signal a blue sky breakout. Right now, there is no resistance between high of day. You know, the only resistance on the chart is between high of day today or this month and then the 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 trading on on January back in January in that monthly candle that that above that it's blue sky breakout territory so so it's really pushing right here we're going to see if it can make that run up to 1250 if you have any doubt look at September's volume i mean that that volume right there is telling you there's a lot more upside potential this stock is not one to miss out on expect this thing to run up into the 12s okay thanks a lot for viewing this video if you'd like to learn more about charts and technical analysis please come check out our chat we we cover the marijuana sector on a daily basis we have plays you probably never even heard of that are running and doing excellent but you got to come to the premium chat if you want to get the good entry points if you want to know what's happening if you want to stay on top of the situation if you're trying to be cheap and save 15 or 20 bucks a month then that's your problem it's all about you got to spend money to make money and, and i only charge 50 cents to 60 cents a day and i put out tons of charts and technical analysis all throughout the trading day so it's well worth it believe me all right come check out the chat thanks